What is up you guys, Max back here with another video and in this video we're gonna be talking about five common complaints of fifth gen Camaro. So some of these I've experienced myself, but a lot of them I looked online and there was an overwhelming amount of people that had these problems. So that's how I sort of made this list. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing on this list is gonna be back seat room. Now this is a pretty common problem for all coupes in general, but a lot of times there's a little more room than even in this car. Now it's talked about a lot, but I, I think there is a little more room than people probably give it credit for, but it definitely is a tight squeeze. If you're gonna try to fit an adult back there, they're either gonna have to cut their legs off or it's gonna have to be just a ride that's probably shorter than 10 miles if you wanna make it pretty comfortable. But yeah, so that's gonna be the first thing on this list, back seat room. Also, the other thing to note is that really on top, you're probably gonna have some decent leg room uh, if, if the person in the front scoots up a little bit, but it's really gonna cut close to on top of your head. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. For convertibles, it's probably even worse. I've never been in a, a con convertible Camaro, certainly not in the back, so I can't really imagine, but if it's any smaller than here, it'd probably be pretty hard to fit back there. Number two on this list is actually going to be the key fob, and over time, it's sort of deteriorating. I actually just saw a video online on YouTube from, I believe the name is GV Aspirated. He made a video replacing his key fob, and this thing was just horrendous. And I've seen online a lot of people replacing their key fobs because they fall apart over time. Mine's not nearly as bad, but I did put a cover over it just in case to try to preserve it a little bit. But it's definitely a pretty common problem that I've seen. Now for the six gen Camaros, I've seen obviously Chevrolet incorporate a different type of key fob and that nobody seems to be having the same problem that they had with the fifth gen Camaros. So it's about time they did that. I think they did that for all five years from 2010 all the way to 2015. So it's, it's good to see that they're finally changing it, but I noticed a lot of people having that problem. Number three on this list has to do with the gas cap. I've never personally experienced this, but looking online, it seemed like a lot of fifth gen Camaro owners did experience this. So basically what happens, supposedly after about 70,000 miles or so, the gas cap breaks. Uh, and your check engine light actually goes on, causing a lot of people to think that something is seriously wrong with either their engine or their car. Of course they would because the check engine light is on. So, so online I did see it was about $100 to replace. So that's kind of expensive for something that you don't even really see. So for such a common problem, $100 to replace it, kind of annoying, but that's just number three on this list. Number four on this list is going to be the visibility. I made a video explaining how bad the visibility actually is from an owner's perspective. I had this car for over a year now, close to a year and a half. So I have a pretty good idea of the visibility. This is another thing, just like the backseat uh, room that gets blown out of proportion. If you read a review about Camaros or watch a review about Camaros, it's talked about a lot, the, the visibility, and it certainly is bad. It's below par, but it's not as bad as I, I think people make it out to be. But that's just my opinion. You definitely have to get behind the wheel of a Camaro to actually know. But I will, I will admit that every part of the visibility is pretty bad. The back windshield, it's downward sloping. The mirrors are small. The front windshield's kind of small. The windows, you guys can see, they're very small. So all the aspects of visibility are below par, like I mentioned. But I think just overall, it's, it's not impossible to drive like people make it out to be. All right, you guys, so for number five on this list, I actually made a video about this. It was one of my more popular videos. It has to do with recharging your Camaro's air conditioning. So basically over a long period of time or after a certain period of time, your air conditioning stops working. It still blows air, but cold air doesn't come out anymore. So you have to recharge the air conditioning. So I'll leave the link to the video up above. But basically, uh, this is a very common problem I noticed, especially like in the comments of that video, people were saying that they had the same problem. So I decided to include that on this list. It happened to me. Um, I did notice a lot of people, they'll recharge it and then over a, a certain period of time they have to recharge it again and again for me luckily i didn't have to do that after doing it once i've been fine ever since i made that video so it is a very common problem for the camaro that'll be number five on this list all right you guys there you have it there's five things i thought are very common problems or complaints a lot of fifth gen camaro owners have or have experienced so that's gonna be it for this video please make sure you like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and i'm out peace